sorry. The camera angle there. Kinda. I'm so used to turning a certain way. Stairs. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go to this one next, where she's. My, we my Wesker is uh, keeping her busy. Come on, come on. But Wesker, I think, fell over. <laughs> Yeah, Wesker fell over, but didn't leave his gun, it looks like. So let's see what's in here. Okay. A family picture. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made, made some of Mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they give me the shots, mommy's can't think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like. How we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to our wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to the, that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, uncon uh, unconscious and when that man in white clothes is off guard that will be our chance when we're on the outside let's look for daddy together okay sweetie be strong Lisa November 13th 1967 Jessica Trevor so I bet the girl that fell over was Lisa I bet and that's that's these guys are really disturbing doing uh, testing on on, in it, on innocent people it's horrible and we know what happened to uh, George Trevor already, but but they didn't know what happened to him, to him evidently, which is sad in a way. Let's put that one. Let's put the silver one there, and we're gonna put the gold one over here. There we go. Go ahead and use the lift. Okay. I didn't want the typewriter. I don't 
Yeah, I'm not trying to save. I'm trying to pick this up. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. I'm trying to pick up that, that ink ribbon up so I can... And I'm going to go ahead and make a quick save right here, guys. We finally made it to the, um, the lab part of the game, which is excellent. That means we're, like, super close to the end now. And I'm going to go ahead and put the ink ribbon back. But yeah, super close to the end of this game, which is which is awesome. Okay, let me grab some items here. I know there's going to be um, probably some zombies here, I'm guessing. So we're just going to grab that one item there, and that's all we need. And we're going to head on out. I always like to keep it on hand just in case I don't hit their heads, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go and fill up that canteen, but first we're gonna grab this disc. Since we're going for the uh, good ending, might as well grab it, right? So we're going for the good ending. And we're going to go ahead and uh, fill it up. Okay, now we're going to go in here real quick, and we're going to drop off this disc. So we have more slots. Since, you know, Chris doesn't have a lot of slots on hand. It's always good to... Uh, Nope. No, 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 we didn't want to do that. Since we don't have a lot of slots on hand, uh, we want to put, uh, want to put some things away that we don't need at this time. But we will need those discs later. But, um, I'm not going to grab those discs, uh, right now. Those little CD little discs right now. At least we're nearing the end to the game. So I hope you guys are excited. Okay. So let's go this way first. And... And we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna take care of this guy right here. It's a good thing that we uh, have this on hand just in case we have to burn a couple of them. It's always good to find that as well and it's always good to find some handgun because we're going to be probably using some handgun pretty soon. Okay, can't pick that up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, this direction. We see some mags. We're gonna go ahead and pick up some mag ammo. I'm gonna go behind here and I'm gonna pick up. Oops, sorry. Uh, sorry. I didn't wanna pick that up. Uh, no. Um, is it this way? Yeah, that's what I wanted to pick up. Yeah, I don't need the health. Um, I'm gonna leave the health there. So we're gonna come over here and. We're gonna read some more lore. The act, researchers note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active, rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic com composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them the Axe. Its speed, amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy after transformation. It becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric 
accident. We have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. Ah, oh, there they are. Those red things. Yeah, they are fast. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and, and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. That's the guy we fought. That's what, that's what we fought in, um, that was our first boss encounter in the cemetery. Remember, guys? We had to put the masks and stuff. That was what we fought. Now we know what we fought. Okay. Fire a crimson head. And that's why I've been burning zombies, so that way more don't appear. Okay, then we're gonna put in the password, which is Ada. I'll show you guys how I get how I get this uh, password in a minute. Okay. 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 Now we gotta put another password, and that's gonna be sell. I'll show you guys uh, where I got all this um, information real quick. Now you guys know. That way, if you guys wanna, you know, find it yourself, you can. You don't wanna want me to tell you. But I'll show you how I uh, found it. I mean, I have like a cheat sheet, as you guys know, so I know all that stuff. Okay. So we're gonna go this way, and this room here, we're gonna go into. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how you find out. You go in this room here. And I'm gonna show you guys the puzzle. Let you guys uh, don't know what the. Oh, I can't show you guys. A, I can show you guys the puzzle. Yeah, okay. Let's grab just one picture since I don't have.